We are done with head on end. We are now on to color TV game block breaker. So to show it off, here is the color TV game block breaker straight from Japan. Pretty nifty. A little bit simpler than some of the previous ones because this one's single player only. The other ones have always been two player games. It is now turned on, so I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. So the settings are, there's six different uh, types of levels I can play. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I'm going to see that later. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. And then I can also give myself more balls, so seven. I think I'm just going to give myself seven and play on easy mode. Or at least for starters, maybe I'll try it with less, but I'd rather not have to do everything all over again. Right, so pretty simple. You move the paddle and you serve. I like how the ball just goes straight through the blocks from the top. So as you can see, this is definitely not um, a complete uh, <laughs> breakout clone. <laughs> also, I just realized a problem. I am just like Space Fever. Just like how Space Fever was definitely not a clone of Space Invaders. So the only problem with my current setup is if someone follows, the music's not gonna play, but that's a sacrifice I have to make to save you guys from that awful radio noise. I suddenly realize I am playing this looking at my stream and not at my screen, so there's a bit of a delay. I'll fix that once I lose my next life. Oh, that was so fast. What was I supposed to do about that? Maybe if I was uh, looking at the proper screen, it'd be better. What? It just went through the blocks. You couldn't give me some of those? It's like the best part is when you get the ball stuck up in it and it hits a bunch. They like don't want me to do that. It's kind of sad. So they actually made an arcade game version of this too. But unfortunately I could not find any ROMs of it on the interwebs. But I can at least play this version. Even if it did cost me an arm and a leg. Whoa! What on earth just happened? This is kind of janky. Serve again. It is also not sitting evenly on my table. Is there a cord underneath it? Oh, it's so fast! Slow down, please. Huh? Am I blind or did that just go through my paddle? Oh, shoot. Just messed up the video quality. Weirdly enough, I stopped hearing the radio noise, too. Even though I feel like I should still hear it, based on how I set things up. I'm glad I chose seven lives, by the way. So I would have died already. Oh my goodness. Is Breakout just, like, a sneaky way of doing single-player Pong? Oh, why does it go so crazy? Why did my paddle size shrink? This is so hard. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Oh, hey. That I'm about to game over. This is my last serve. This is going to be sad. Uh, uh. Why did my paddle get smaller? Is it because I hit the ceiling? Well, bummer. Um, I'll go back to this level, though. Because I think... Whoa, what's happening to my video? The later levels look easier? Because there's one less line. Oh, 
Well, it started so much simpler. I had no idea what was going on that alien one. It, like, attacked me. Level six? Like a UFO. <laughs> what a great block alteration. They just get rid of a row. I feel like it would have made... Would have been a lot better just to... You know, actually have a different pattern. And not just a... Oh! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, 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 do they expect me to have superhuman... ...abilities to fine-tune it perfectly? I thought I was going the other way. That was such a waste of a life. I hate it when I do that. No. Man. Okay, this is good. Big money. I think your paddle shrinks when you hit the ceiling, which makes the last part really hard. Oh my goodness. It just goes crazy. Oh. This is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't fail me now. No. I'm going to come back. Are those supposed to be down there? I think they are. Is this defense? Is this easy mode? Is this for babies like me? I surely they don't say you have to beat those though, because there's like, there's how hard that would be to have to hit the ones on the ground. It goes faster if it hits ones that are far enough back. I guess that wouldn't make sense, huh? Make it harder as you're doing better. So you've gone deeper. Uh-oh. Did that count? I wasn't keeping track. Did that give me points? Why does he just give me two points? I want to just hit one of the next row and see if it gives me more points or not. That definitely made the ball faster. I think you were right about that. Oh, shoot. Ah, how did it pull that angle off? Whoa, it's going so fast. This one wants to be really nice. It'll, uh... Shoot. Give me back my floor panel when I die. It's not really nice. Okay. Smaller panel, whoop you do Shoot. 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 Oh, it's so hard. So the I'm hoping it does end then when I just clear the top and don't have to clear the bottom. It's so hard when your panel gets tiny. It's so tiny. Okay. I'm close. I'm close. 
Will I actually beat one for once? <laughs> no, that was important. Man, the way it sends the ball is so weird. It's... Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I really want to beat at least one level. And my paddle's tiny. Who thought that was a good idea? So close. All right. Next one is... Wow. So different. Oh, what the heck? It is different. What the heck? Is this how long or how quickly can you beat it in? What happens when I reach maximum time? Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. I'm finally about to taste some quarter of victory in this game. Woo! 375. Yay, I beat a level finally. All right, next. That was weird. What does flashing purple mean? Oh, shoot. This is an old type of level. That last type was easier. What happens if I get up there? I want to know what the purple does. Did that do anything? All I know is my paddle is tiny again. Great, now I'm already on fast mode. Yo, I gotta focus way too hard on this thing. And I'm tiny again. Get the last purple! For some reason. I don't actually know why I want to do that. But maybe it's good. Oh, I'm getting good at this game. What the heck? Oh, of course I died right when I said that. And I'm tiny again. Yo, can I just hit that last purple? I want to know if it does anything. Dang it, I thought I had it. Oh, it's so hard. When it's moving fast and your panel is tiny. Get it? Oh! Did I win? I think I won. I think I killed it. Because shooting... Was that like taking down the boss? I had... That was really weird. He just crashed down on me. And it says 66. Was that good or bad? Either way, it's done. So I think that means I beat it, right? There's no way they'd put it up there if that was the fail condition. I'm not even sure. <laughs> uh, okay, now this weird one. Oh, this is one of the timer ones. Is this just an even easier? Oh my goodness. Destroy the purples. It's the final boss. I killed it. It's so weird. <laughs> I think that's beating it. Okay, so the last three levels were easy. The first three levels, not so much. And unfortunately, this is not the playing every Nintendo game category or uh, challenge. This is the beating every Nintendo game challenge. So I should probably beat those first three levels, shouldn't I? Let's start with the easy one. I just have to get good. Go 
Oop up. Eep. There's got to be one with the paddle. It seems so easy at first, but it just gets so much harder once you start getting faster and losing paddle size. But unfortunately, I have to go through this slow beginning part every time. Alright, speed up has begun. Can't tell if going sideways like this is good or bad, because you get more time to prep, but it's a little harder to tell where it's going to actually land. I want to say it's ultimately a good thing. It's just a little tough to judge. Oh, so fast. Why does it just switch like that sometimes? The physics are so strange sometimes. Oh, I had to go down the one hole. Okay, there is limit stuff where you can go to the sides. It doesn't have wraparound like the first one did. Beep. Like, you want to get into the top row, but then you start having to deal with the tinier paddle. But then you get so much like this. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm getting a little better, I think. Shoot. Oh, shoot. So each of those is a loss, though, in the other difficulties, unfortunately. Okay, okay, we got this. I got five lives. There's no way I lose this, right? Because it doesn't start speeding up until it, it hits a block. So I'm, I'm going to undoubtedly get a smaller paddle. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. But a smaller paddle isn't a huge deal when the ball's moving this slow. I just have to actually get up into that stinking corner. There we go. Fine. I'm fine with that. I just have one left. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Dang it. All I got was the ceiling, which turned me tiny. Shoot. <laughs> Come on. Boom. Oh. oh, no. Don't tell me I do have to. Oh, it just resets because it's a high score chaser. Okay. Kind of annoying that I'm still tiny. Uh, whatever. This is good. I'm this is good as beating in my eyes. This level, at least. We oh gosh darn it! We just fail already. I guess it doesn't really matter. All I gotta do is push that reset button. I just want to see it officially end. Okay. Oh wait, I still have one more. <laughs> Yo, how come when I want to lose, I can't? Granted, I still had quite a bit of the floor left, but still. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Level 3 complete. On to level 2, which I think is just easier than level 1, because there's one less row, for whatever reason. But now we have no safety net. This is where things get scary. I feel like level six was one of the easiest levels. This almost went like backwards. Oh, shoot. Oh, actually, I say shoot, but that was kind of glorious. I just got so many in a row. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, I'm smoking it. Oh. Dang. Well, that was extremely good. We've got six balls left. 
And five blocks left, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Nice. Okay, okay. Three left. Oh, man, that was beautiful. That noise is also glorious. When you're getting them all at once. Oh, so satisfying. Ugh. Oh, come on. Just because going slow doesn't make this completely free. So I can't afford to be careless. Just having the small panel still kind of sucks. Am I just doing the same thing over and over again? I feel like I moved a little bit that time. Oh, come on. That did not look like it actually moved that much. Okay, that was different. There we go. At least I got one on this life. Okay. Nice. Level two complete. Um, are you not going to reload the squares? Oh, there they go. <laughs> All right, level two done. All I got to do is level one, the hardest one for some reason. I'm definitely not beating these with less lives. Maybe I'll beat the alien one with three lives, since it technically is the final level. But I need all of the shots I can get. Well, the problem is, the chances of me getting something as glorious as last time are much more slim this time around. Well, they were slim, they were just as slim before, but the chances of me actually seeing it are not high. We hit a faster one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Boop, beep, boop, bop. Beep. I hate how sometimes it just goes through the blocks. Nope, we're not going to do the bouncy thing here. It's like you have to hit it from the bottom. The side, it just goes through it. If you've already hit one and you're going down. It's kind of weird. And I still wonder how I hit those corners sometimes. Put up. Ding. I'm glad that I was able to drown out that radio. Ah, oh, that tricked me. Glad I was able to drown out that radio sound. That would have been annoying. The, why does it go so much faster? Was I really hitting light greens that whole time? Or lower greens? Almost missed that one. We go. The hard part has begun. Barely got that. Dang it. Not looking as good as last time. I did still have some extra lives last time at the end, but. And we're tiny. Okay. Okay. Dang it. If I can get the, all the reds out, that'll help immensely. Okay, still a little sketchy, but we're looking better. So far, you've had a Pong clone, a Space Invaders clone, a Pac-Man clone, and a Breakout clone. To be fair, they didn't develop the Pac-Man clone. And that was barely a Pac-Man clone. But yes, you are right. A lot of Nintendo's earliest stuff in the video game market was very derivative. It really wasn't until they made Donkey Kong that we're going to see. Well, maybe Game & Watch, if you count that. 
Whoa, level one complete. Nice. All right. I think that is all for color TV game block breaker. Didn't take too long. Oop.